G'day everyone, here we are, another Tuesday, but it's a Friday, so game over show, Raceline Events. Yep, Ch put on another show, we like the shows <laughs> here, always great, it's cool, cool little atmosphere, mm. and a uh, good spot, go-karts, all the rest. Yeah, we put out a video every week, make sure you like, subscribe so you can see more, hit the bell, yeah. jump on Facebook, jump on Instagram, and check out the merch. Yeah, grab here a shirt, here. help us out, pay some petrol money so we can get to the next one. Um, so we can maybe pay yeah, we've for... We've got three cars on, to take you, now. Yeah, you, what'd you just buy? A Skyline. So. Oh, is there a video of that tonight? No, uh, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope it's tonight, but... It's not quite here yet. Yeah. Alright, yeah. let's, let's shut up and show them some cars. Let's do it. Jason, we've uh, had a chat here, I think it was last time I was yeah. out at uh, Game Over, you were up here in the hot rod. Yeah, I was parked up in the dark, up the back. Hiding away, but you're down the front here tonight. Yeah. Mate, um, let's have a chat about this, because what have we got going on here? Cheap home build. Yeah. I wanted to prove you could still build a car at home on a budget for 10 to 12 grand. You that can't. low? You couldn't make it? No, no I was going to say. I was... Tapped out at about 15. Okay, that's still not bad. Can't Jeez. complain. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so what did you start with? Two-wheel drive Hilux. Okay, yep, yeah. so it's a Hilux chassis. Yeah, it's a two-wheel drive Hilux. Yep. It was that nice, I drove it to pick the cab up. <laughs> yeah, right. I bought it home and destroyed the Hilux down to just the floor. Yep. And lowered this cab over it. Straight over. I made more money selling the Hilux parts than I paid for the Hilux. <laughs> That's all right. And I put everything else back into the car. And, and what uh, year is this cab? Uh, this is a 39 jailbar. Okay. And jail bar cabs are the same from 38 through to 46. Right. The only difference is the 38 has three lines here instead of the two. Okay. And right. you get the slight variation in the American and the Australian ones, yep. which relates to the back window size. That's it. And, and one slope line here. Okay. And that's the only difference. In it. Yeah, right. But they're still affordable. Not a lot of people guys like them. Like my other, my other jail bar cab got handed around from three different hot rodders. They all said it was in the too hard basket. Really? I like a challenge. So you so, got yeah. it going on too. But I went too far with that car. It stopped being a rat rod and sort of progressed into a 60s show car. Yeah. So I pushed it to one side. and you still got it though? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a polished aluminium Toyota Hemi. Yeah. 300 hours with a die grinder on the chassis. Wow. Looks like it's dipped in plastic. Yeah, so it, it stopped being a rat car. <laughs> yeah, so got a bit fancy. I've gone backwards. Yeah, what, what engine are we running in here? That's just an SS, LS1. Yep, okay. LS, LS2 sump. Yeah. Some coil pack covers to hide the ugliness. Yeah. And a six speed manual still. So it's nice and reliable. And... Oh, turn the key, fires up. You, you swear it's fuel injected. Yeah. I don't even have to be in the car when I start it. Just that... turn the key. No, I've never had to use the choke. And it rides okay as well? Rides like a Hilux. As good as a Hilux <laughs> though. Yeah. So, and you wouldn't want it to be too nice anyway. Yeah. And how long did it take you? Approximately two years on the side. Yep. You know, weekends here, weekends there. A couple of weeks off work if I had them. And this Christmas holidays. And, and is it a trade for you as well? Are you a mechanic by trade? Or oh, no, no. Fitter. There you go. Yeah. But I went to the first Australian Hot Rod Nationals when I was two. Yep. It may have affected me a little bit. That's where it all started, eh? So that's where it started. What was the first car, mate? First car? Yeah. Baby Poo Brown Gemini. There you go. <laughs> I'm not, not too proud well, Did you do it up? No. No? You no, kept I, I crashed that <laughs> and then moved into an LH Tirana. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Mark 1 Cortina after that. Yeah. After that, I lost count for years. There's, there's been T buckets and V8 Morris Miners and V8 Volvos and some yeah. weird stuff along the way. And it's all been fun. Yeah, all been fun. Yeah. What a great story, mate. Appreciate yeah. you telling us about it. Thank Thanks, you. Mate.
today, Gavin. How are you, mate? You've got a few hecklers in the background yeah. here, yeah, yeah. cheering you on, I see, from the <laughs> club. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so from Customs Gold Coast, yep. obviously, uh, all the guys are here, yeah, having a bit of fun. Yep. But, um, mate, I wanted to talk to you about Yankee. Yep. Mate, tell us about this beast. Um, well, 61, um, four-door Fleetwood, um, pretty much stock other than being resprayed and retrimmed. Yep. Um, but, yeah, just a, just a cruiser. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, compared to what I used to own. So, yeah. yeah, now this is a. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. This is actually a bit bigger than what you used to drive around in, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, previous car to this was a Hilux Ute with a 13 litre turbo in it. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, previous to that was RX2s and, and 808s. And, and, yeah, so I've gone from a, a small Jap car to a big American one. So. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, definitely a lot of difference. You've also uh, you loved your rotaries. Yep. Yep, yeah, yeah I grew up with them. Come home from the hospital in the back of an RX2. Um, but yeah, 12 months ago, sort of decided to make a change and yeah, and, and sort of, yeah, don't really look back at the moment. I'm really enjoying the yeah, big, big American cruiser. So. How, how do you find getting around parking? Things uh, like that? Actually, once you uh, adapt to the car a little bit, it's quite easy. Um, yep. I don't go and park shopping centres as such too close. I park sort of over to the back, but sure. you can fit in most car parks pretty good. Um, but yeah, actually, the left hand drive is really good to drive. I really okay. enjoy it. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of people, even myself, you know, think oh, I don't know how to be with the yeah. left hand drive because yeah. I haven't done it before. I was exactly the same. Um, when I first drove it, I was a little bit worried. And you, your right hand turns are a little bit, you know, funny at the start, but then, yeah, you get used to them and you, you just take it a little bit wider. So, you just get yeah. to know your car. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, yeah. But, yeah, no, I, I, I don't. I don't think I could go back to a small car at the moment. That's really? Sure. So, have you yeah. have you actually measured the length of it? 5.71. Wow. So it's five metres, yeah, seven, so um, and it's over a metre longer than my old Hilux, which was a single cab long wheelbase. So, there you go. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a monster. Big guy, fit two metres wide. Fit six people yep. comfortably? Six people comfortably in, inside the cab. Yep. And probably, yeah, four to five in the boot. And uh, on, the, on the road, does it feel big on the road? Yes, yeah, yeah. it feels big. Um, you feel like you're taking up the whole lane. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it is a bit of a bait when you go around corners, but it's not, not built and not designed to, you know, hammer around a corner. You just built a cruise. So, I bet you get a few looks and a few thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I've actually had a guy almost completely out the window of a car on the M1 giving me <laughs> thumbs up one day. I was just, I was like, well, dude, get back in the car, you know, sort of. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild. Yeah. You do yeah. get a, a lot of acknowledgement, so. All right. And where did your uh, passion for cars start, mate? Uh, my father was a mechanic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was always around. That's cars. a common theme, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speedway and hill climb cars and, and okay. everything like that. So um, all rotary based. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of yeah, that's where it's been. And I, I tried to walk away once for about oh, I think I lasted three weeks. And really? Then, yeah, I just couldn't handle it. So it's yeah. like I got to have a car in my life. Yeah, got to have something. Yeah, whether it's going or not, I have to have a car. So yeah. Yeah. So, no, and but, what was the first car? My first car was a Mazda Capella. Yep. Um, it was a real shitty green colour, big dent in the door. Um, re sprayed it white, put a two litre motor in it, then blew it up, sold that, bought an RX7. So, and then I've had RX7, I did a 10 year build on an RX2, um, just a lot of work, show car. Um, yeah, RX4s, 808s, 1300 wagons. Um, yeah, if I was to go back to a Mazda, it'd be a 1300 wagon. Right. It'll park go. next to this. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't let this go. You, you, it's always got a spot in your heart. Yeah, this oh, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, my three year old will probably get the keys to this one. So. Oh, that's excellent. I don't, I don't think this will go anywhere. So. We know where their passion will start yeah. too, then. Yeah, he's <laughs> Hot Wheels crazy. So I that's think he's cool. already got over a thousand Hot Wheels. So. That's excellent. Yeah. All right. Start him right. Well done, Gavin. That's it. And appreciate you having a talk with us, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks.
we've uh, we've got you on. You said uh, you had an orange uh, Tirana last week. Do we really want another one? And we definitely want another one because this is uh, another very very nice Tirana LH. Thank you. Um, what, how long has the build taken on this one? Uh, it took about 12 months, uh, full back to metal respray, um, and then obviously with the engine build, it's got a nine inch LS, an unusual LS. Yeah. Um, we've removed all the coils, it's got a carburetor on it, no injection, we've put a front mount distributor on it, the whole lot. Yeah, yeah definitely different with that distributor. And now, um, how does it go, St turnkey start? Turnkey start every time, runs on, we alternate between petrol and E85. You do? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So we've got petrol on at the moment. We had E85 on it until about a week ago. Yep. Uh, it's a bit difficult to plan trips between service stations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that one. I know that <laughs> yep, one well. Um, exactly. And, but do uh, you find the starts on E85 and that were fine as yeah, well? Yeah, no problems. Yeah, um, yeah no, no issues. Um, uh, in the beginning, it was just a matter of finding someone that could tune it. Still not quite right, but we're getting there. Yeah. Definitely, it's just a matter of more and more hours and loosening everything up and yeah, no issues starting, nothing like that at all. Yeah, Nicole, it must have been pretty full on to be able to build that in 12 months. Like, you guys must have been pretty busy at it. Uh, my husband was pretty busy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, thought process. My dad runs an engineering business. He built the motor. I came up with the idea and said, can we do this? I wanted a... <laughs> An old school feel, um, but with a newer engine. Yep. You know, you can put a Holden 355 in it, or you can put a small block in it. But I wanted an LS, but not a, you know, a conversion LS, basically, where you transplant it out of one car and put it into the other. So. And you want to keep it looking old school. I still wanted to keep it looking old school. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what we did. So yeah. Um, so and do you find a lot of people don't realise? I've witnessed a lot of arguments. <laughs> uh, I've witnessed that it can't be an LS. I've witnessed that it. Um, LSs don't come out with distributors. I've witnessed, oh, they put the distributor at the front of the engine because there was no room at the back. Um, I've heard it all and it kind of makes me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. Yeah. So, yeah. And, we, and we should give a shout out to Hubby as well because he put a lot of work into it. He did, cities. my husband is amazing. He um, he did all the body work, the paint was done by Gold Coast Paint and Panel, but my husband um, did an amazing job. So, absolutely brilliant job. Well done. Lots of long hours, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And, and uh, where did your passion for cars start? Uh, as a kid, watching my dad yeah. running around as a three and four year old at a drag strip. Oh, okay, <laughs> oh, there you go. Yep, so, you know, watching cars. Gold Coast drag strip? Like? Gold Coast, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just talking about that the other day, actually, with the old Dunlop Bridge. Wish we had over one Over the now. surface, I know, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Um, and yeah, that's that's where it started. And you know, this is our third or fourth build. Yep. Um, so that's why it only took 12 months this time. And um, you know, you just kind of get a bit old hand at it. And you know, you- And you'd have no problems doing another build? No, absolutely, you'd, you'd I would do it again. Food. I'm already looking for another car. I'd, I'd love to do a, an old school Chev truck or something like that a bit, a bit, you know, outside the box for what we do. Yeah. We've always done Holden's, but um, yeah, looking at some of these old Chev trucks and things kind of makes you, Go, oh, I'd really Fine. like to have a hand at that. Yeah, so. that's... And what about your first car? What was your first car? LH Tirana. Oh, there yes, you go. So LH you've actually Tirana got there, with back two, into your first car. Yeah, with a with a two five three. Yep. Um, it had a two speed glide in it, but that was that was my first car. Is that what so. attracted you to get another LH as well? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we have an LC as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, an LH. We just wanted something as a cruise car, and yeah, this is what what's happened. That's great. I uh, know. We chat on about this all night, but I guess uh, yeah, I Tyler's got to edit this. I know. He's got to edit this. So, and I'm Appreciate guessing it. by what you're saying, you're having issues with E85. No, not at all. No, 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 no. no, no. I love it. I, I just run straight E85, but uh, yep. you do have to plan the trips. You've got to look at is there a fuel station there? Okay. Where's the United? So how can I get there? Yep. No, okay, cool. <laughs> a few jerry cans in the boot, I'm always safe. Exactly. Exactly. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so Nicole. much. Have a good night. You See too. you guys some cool cars wasn't it definitely. definitely yeah i would say if you like to see another one of these shows at game over then stick around click the uh video at the end yeah and, we'll pop uh, it up now yeah let's put it up there check it out and uh be ready for some more aussie car scene action and also hit the little circle with our logo in it subscribe <laughs> see you in the next one yeah we'll stay in the right lane <laughs>